Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric and... It's his mad guide. Hey, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the last episode, uh... The Moonlight Grotto. And we met Dimitri. Uh, now, now, if you notice, we're near Tingle. And now we have the Seed Shooter. We can actually activate this switch that'll give us an easier way to get to him. So what I want to do is, I want to show something Very off that Tingle easily, does. If you basically cut his balloon. Ooh, yeah, let's light him on fire. What's this? Look at all the mystical seeds you've gathered. Tingle Fairy can make it so your satchel can carry more. Ha <laughs> ha I told you! Oh, well, to be fair, I thought it was later on. Now, originally we could hold 20 seeds. Now he's refilled to where we can now hold 50. And he will refill our seed satchel anytime we talk to him. Actually, you know what's the funny thing? I think he could have upgraded the sea satchel much earlier, we just didn't do so. No, I think you had to at least talk to I him. I bet you anything bad. I think you have to talk to him after you get the island chart from him. Yeah, I bet, yeah, at least, that's what I'm saying, we, we, we've gotten that at least sooner. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is... Oh shit, that was Maple. Ah oh, well, we'll run into her again. <laughs> yeah. We're never going to not meet right Okay, right now, there. see that flute? Do not buy that flute. There's a di now we'll explain why. Uh, oh. We'll explain if, why. If they want, if they want to get the flute, they can. They yeah. just won't be able to get the others. Right. So we're gonna actually we appraise this ring that I have. What's this? The heart ring level two. Recover lost hearts. Where the fuck is this when I need it? I mean, it's in your pocket. You just didn't know it was. Praise, I don't want to appraise, I want my list. Because I do not actually have a ring equipped. No, you don't. And I'm going to equip that ring because I like that ring. Nice. Now, of course, uh, we can get a larger uh, ring box, but that won't be till later. Real later on. I mean, it ends up running like halfway through the game. Yeah, we'll, we'll explain it later. Uh, for now, isn't there something we can do with the Maku Tree too? Uh, um, not. No, not yet. Okay. I didn't know if that was. So. I didn't know if that was. I didn't look now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we need to go back to the past. Yeah, that's what we can. Now, if you remember, we have met three yeah. animals oh. so far. We've met Dimitri. The lizard, or the Dodongo, actually, he's a Dodongo. Ricky, the boxing kangaroo, and we've yeah, met Wish, the flying bear. So, the reason why you can pick that flute up is because this is the point in the game where you can get one of the three as your animal companion. Now, I believe the what? The one in the shop in Lena City is. Moosh? Um, no, the one, the one in the city is Dimitri's. One we're going after right now is Ricky's. Moosh's, you get by doing neither of those two. Right. So what you need to do is you need to come back here to the past and play the target practice game and basically get a score of 50 or higher. So how to do that is, yep. uh... Simply just hit the blue blocks. I apparently can't hit shit. Oh, look at that. 30 points, right there. It's not hard to get the 50. Unless you keep fucking up like I do. It really isn't. Now, if you hit one of the, if you hit one of the red ones, you lose 10 points, but look at that. 50 points right there. Boom. Now, if you hit a fairy, that's 100 yeah, points. Yeah, so we could... Yeah. Like, we could choose to do nothing else for the rest of this little minigame, but, like, I would be. Point. Yeah, this point we, there, there's like no way we can, Yeah. Based on this point, there's no way we can't get the flute at this point. Yeah, 390 points. I'd be disappointed if we didn't get the flute. <laughs> no flute for you goes away. Congratulations, you get a special prize. The strange flute. This is Ricky's flute. We're not gonna play that again. Quite a good trade, we think for it, that was, that's actually kind of, like, 
10 rupees versus the 150 for Dimitri's. Yeah. So what we need to do now is, of course, go back to the present. I mean, duh. So yeah, now we need to go basically south. Do we need to go visit Turtle? Uh, excuse me for a moment, everyone. Okay, we are back. Yes. Hard in the technical difficulties that may have happened there. A lot of silly things happened. Alright, so we need to now go to the Fairy's Woods. Yep. Because there was something I brought to his attention that was pretty cool. And I am getting hit with that lag problem a lot right now. We might have to, we might have to cut this one short, maybe. Just might. But, well, it's kind of picking up here and there. Uh, yeah, we're going to end up cutting this episode short due to the technical problem. Yeah, so you want to, I guess, get the thing I mentioned and we can just, yeah, we'll I end guess, it there. the fetch quests and we'll end it there. Yeah. Yeah, might be best. Okay, so what we need to do is go across... See, you can feel it too. And we get 50 rupees. Hold on to that, because we're going to need it. Yeah. <laughs> or spend it and... I, I, count, I would be able to count the frames of animation for all those, like, moblin spears spinning. I don't think I should be able to do that normally. Yeah, but I don't think I should be able to either. I'll have to look into that problem. I, I, I really apologize. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to cut the episode short here. Uh, I, I really do apologize. Uh, this will actually be merged into the next episode, too, so... While we're saying goodbye now, it'll pick up in the next episode. So until then, this is Eric and Ian signing off. See you guys later. Take care, guys. Hello, everyone. What's going on? It's Eric, and... This is Mad Host. Hopefully with 3% less lag. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping that one. And welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages. Uh, this is a continuation. So, uh, after giving that chest of 50 rupees down in the fairy's woods, come up this way. Now, don't use your sense, your seed shooter. Just yet, I almost said sense seeds. <laughs> well, I mean, you can use, you can partially use it, but not right away. Yeah. Yeah, so first you want to come over here to this little house. And by this time, within the fetch quest, you should have the tasty meat. I'm yeah. so hungry, my stomach hurts. Ah, I'm hungry! Pardon me, I just thought you could help. Ah, I'm hungry! Give him the tasty meat? Yes. Bah! Meat! What's this? Hand it over. Put it last! Jump, jump. Why are you staring at me? Oh, you want something? How greedy! How mean! You won't leave it till you get something. Fine, you can have this. Bah! Meat! <laughs> we get the doggy mask. A dog will, lover will love it. A happy mass salesman, everyone. Yeah. Happy mass salesman. Now, before we do that switch, uh, we're actually going to come back into Lena City. This village is in the past. Yep. We're gonna go back in, stay on the bottom part, and go into this house where there's obviously the lady with the dog. This is Mamu Yan. Top breeder in the town. My dog is much cuter than that dog. Much cuter, but my dog is very shy. Oh, that doggy mask fits my dog perfectly. Let me have that mask. Give her the mask. Good boy, you deserve this toy that my dog played with. A dumbbell. Why the fuck was your dog playing with a dumbbell? Actually, it's inter interesting that she's known as, like, Madame Yamu Yamu, but... Or Yamu Yamu, but it's like, in here, because where I'm looking at, they actually refer to her as Madame Meow Meow. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you never get to see the dog wear the mask, so... Yeah. I guess you can always just assume he's already wearing the mask. I, that works, too. So now that we have that, we're at least a little further within the fetch quest. Or at least as far as we can go now. Yeah. Uh, grab your seed shooter. And you don't have to use both ember seeds, but you already have them equipped anyway. Hit the switch. And head up. Yeah. No, do not hit these things with your sword. Otherwise, you're gonna get the shit shocked out of you. I'll tell you that much. Um, I think this would be wise for us to tell them that this particular area changes 
right. based has like three different options, three different map choices based on a certain circumstance, basically. Shall I explain that? By all means. Okay, so if you remember in the last part of the episode, or in the last technical part, the beginning of this, that I had mentioned how we got the strange flute, how we have met three animal companions. There was Moosh the flying pair, Demetri the Dodongo, and Ricky the boxing kangaroo. Now, each flute uh, you get for either one of them. If you go back into the past, which is what we did, and play the target practice, target practice game and get at least over 50 points, you get Ricky's flute. If you buy the one out of the Lena City shop for 150 rupees, that's what, Dimitri? Yeah, that's Dimitri, and I believe Moosh... You do nothing. You, just, you don't buy either you of them. Yeah, you basically just come here, basically. Yep. So, on the most chance, I'll usually get Dimitri or Moosh, but I've never had Ricky, so... We made a conscious decision to go out of our way to get Ricky's yes. flute. So before you and, do anything, yeah. we'll head out and this that, way. And you'll know it's changed when there's a... You'll see a bunch of... There'll be when you're about at... Yeah. When you're on this tile map, basically, that's when it is the start of the change. Yeah. So you'll either see a bunch of potholes or... Water. Is. Yeah, water with Dimitri. Those are these fools just real building those bridges to Dimitri City Ruins. They go off on break. I wait and I wait, but they don't come back. We'll never get this bridge done at this rate. I'll go find them in the terrain's rough around. My chair's too rough. Man, I'm getting on this one. Pa, what a fix. So if I'm correct, there's just probably like a bunch of ledges. Yep, a bunch of ledges we can't get up. Yeah. So, at this point, you can't do anything. So go back. Mister, I found you. Look who it is. Listen, it's a mess. An animal with gloves on got lost in our forest and can't get out. We're playing a little trick, and then it'll never get out. Can you help us find it? Do you get our problem? So, head back down to the various woods and go save whichever animal companion you didn't, whichever one you happen to get. Yep. Now, uh, if you recall in the last episode, oops, that was the wrong one, uh, how I said Ian and I kind of kind of discussed something that need to be... The, he and I were just gonna kind of discuss something. Oh, hello. Hey, mister, this way. Hey, how you doing? I'm trying to interrupt you later. Fairy, I don't know. Either way. Uh, second dungeon. Um, that we were just going to discuss, like, which animal... We basically discussed which one we were gonna get. Yep. So if you remember the good old puzzle, just literally go up, down a couple times. Uh, I don't know what's going on. You found my gloves, right? Make sure you found it. Oy. We won't get lost here. Oy. I still don't get it, but you helped me out. I'm Ricky. Do you remember it? Say, do I know your name? Eric? Cool. Thanks for your help, Eric. Thanks a lot. I want to give you something. Hey, that's a weird flute. I know, play that flute anytime you need my help. If I hear the flute, I'll come find you. So now we have Ricky's flute. Hop in the pouch. We are now literally the Joey once more. Hero of time, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Actually, this is technically yeah. past the hero of time. Oh. Oh my god. What? Oh, you, did, you didn't know that. You could, I did not know. Yeah, you could I didn't know fling he could a fucking it. tornado. <laughs> You, that's his charge attack, you fling a fucking tornado. That's amazing! Get wrecked. Go fucking learn today, son. Watch as Rick, Ricky punches the shit out of the wind. Oh, you know... Fuck it, this is why I don't mess with this goddamn kangaroo. So we basically, <laughs> now, our goal is to find these chuckle fucks. Since the bridge, so just say, but it's not like he's waiting for anyone. Which rush do you think? Oh, I think we gotta go back and talk to the guy again. I do like how this particular section of the game does have like three different options based on the three animals you go for. And oh, they yeah. do change for that. So let's just building the bridge. I mean, can you go find those slackers for me? Yes, okay, now we can go. So there's three of them. So our goal is to get to Symmetry City, obviously. Very much so. Its name is heavily implied of what kind of a town it is. A very asymmetrical place, for sure. You, you guys got it. <laughs> yeah. Huh, the boss? I want to hang out a while longer, but I can head back. Okay. Also, that man has some mad ups. 
as they say. Say this the next one. The guy that jumped that far off it, you could tell the guy probably never skipped like leg day for his life. <laughs> it's the workers from like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, it's those guys. I, I know, but that's that's the joke. Don't you know never to skip a leg day? Fuck's wrong with you. I mean I know to not skip leg day, but not to the extreme of certainty that they're going. Oh, where you just have like the mad jumping skills? Like I can jump 20 feet across the air, across the world. Ah, oh, Jesus. Words, Ian. Use your words. Well, you know, I'm usually better at them, but I don't know. It's late. Today, just apparently, is not your day. Yeah, well, this episode at least. Well. I just love how you were so bad with the fact that Ricky could punch a fucking Oh, you. to be fair, I've never seen Ricky do that. That's why I kind of I showed off. it off during his little tutorial thing. Did you? Yes! Man, jeez, I'm clearly not paying attention, I guess. Oh, I feel silly. I'm the boss, I want to have... I want to hang out while I'm We're actually going to take a moment to explore the area. Is there actually anything in that area? Um, in that cave there was a ring, actually. Okay, I need to go back that way. Yeah, look. They get the bridge done in one, two, three, done. Yeah. Next job. Yeah, there we go. Um, and if I think if I'm reading this correctly, that is a that is a ring you might actually like a lot. Let's hope so. Provided you can keep at least at least less than two hearts of damage on you. Good. I tried. I mean, okay. Well, let me ask this: How much do you like shooting laser beams out of your sword? What? The fuck! Oh my god! Oh wow! That frame rate, though. <laughs> I could count the frames that were happening. <laughs> I think everyone could. Oh my god! Holy shit! Ricky, please. Ricky is so too strong for my apparently for my computer. Too strong. Apparently, Jesus. Holy fuck! And I think the cliff that was at the waterfall is just a great fairy. Yeah, it is. And every day you can say, hey, I just watched frames. I just saw the frame rates. <laughs> I just saw the. Fr I saw all the frames just commit suicide. God, that was brutal. That was ugly. Oh, oh I my apologize, God. everyone. That's. Oh, Ricky's dead. <laughs> Oh no, not the kangaroo. Anything but that. Not the kangaroo. The kangaroo whose voice I continue to change. <laughs> of, of varying ethnicity. I think I ever actually gave him ethnicity. I think I was trying to go for an Australian thing, but I was like, eh, that might be. That might be like, a little I, th much. I think you went for it at first, then it went like somewhere completely di like left field, and now it's just like. Not Australian. Where it's like a we actually but... do not need Ricky anymore, Pestis. Also, these are dark nuts, by the way. Oh yes, the iconic enemy of all. Oh yeah. You Don't know, think either. Oh, there you are, you fucking bitch. Jesus. Where you been? No need to be mean to Mabel. Mine. Now let's gank her shit. Mine, 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 mine. You can have that shit. Mine. You can have that shit too. I don't care. Well, oh, not the thing that we're looking for just yet. I have more stuff than before. I don't care. I got more shit than you did. Ah! Hey, look, it's your favorite enemy, Ian. Um, uh, Fire pillars? I don't recall. Whatever the hell you were calling them, the miniature... Uh, well, when they were... Uh, uh, the Pudibos. Yeah. Them. That's only for, like, a fireball, not, like, a column. Also, yeah, scale seeds. They can take us anywhere we have a seed tree. Which is really nice, actually. It is, but we need to go back inside. That we do. So play your team of echoes and go back in time. Mm -hmm. Go back to past Symmetry City. Yeah, play a little past Symmetry City. Beautiful looking fucking place. But which looks rather nice. Yep. If a, just a slight bit shitter than normal. 
what you want to do is... We can actually continue the adventure quest right now. Before even going up and talking to either one of those girls, come down here to this guy, this Luigi-looking motherfucker. Sway right, sway left, move left, sway right, move right, sway left. I'm so skinny. I wish I could change. Sway left, sway right. I know. I'll work out. Except, I only have one dumbbell. Sway left, sway right. Working one arm at a time. It goes against my policy. If I can't do left and right at the same time. Sway left, sway right. Sway left, sway right. Take the fucking dumbbell. Now I can lift, lift, lift. I'll get all the girls now. Heh. <laughs> sway left, sway right. I'm so skinny, I can't offer you much. Um, I know. Gotta work out. Ripped off his fucking mustache. Well, I mean, it's a cheesy mustache, so you know it's, you know, not real. Help, help, the 2D net is broken. What, will you listen to my problem? Yes. The bl it's black hearted news completion, the stranger the city gets. When the 2D net broke, the city fell out of balance, and the volcano started erupting. 2D net is a city symbol. We dutifully worship this nut. The rules of symmetry so require that left and right be in perfect balance. Literally. But the 2D net at the center of the city is broken. Symmetry city is all out of balance. If we don't get the 2D net fixed and put back, Symmetry city will be destroyed by the eruptions. What we saw in our current time. I understand. I've given the broken 2D net to my husband, but he can't climb restoration wall. <sighs> this is basically what happens when you bust a nut. I didn't say it. That's all on you. Well, you know... This time I'll be okay with this. I see my brother across town. I think it's either way, even if you go see one of them across town, he'll say, oh, go across town anyway. <laughs> go to my other brother who knows about tuning nuts. Who knows how to bust this nut? That's horrible. I don't give a fuck, you did it first. That's worse than what I was doing. Sure, so you get so tuna, brought the safe out of balance, I want to take it to Patch's place, but I can't leave the city alone. This is too much city, left and right, I have to be in perfect balance. Brother is too hurt to move, so I can't move either. If one brother goes somewhere, the balance between left and right will be lost. But someone has to go. Hey, you can not the rules and leave the city. Do you take the tuna to Patch? You know what? Just give me the fucking tuna nut. I'll just play my tune, do a little jig, and I'm off. Okay. So. I don't think Ian's wanting to help me with this anymore. <laughs> Um, I... Nah. Just reading, just making sure I need... Okay. So now we need to go where... I think we need to make your way to Toki's house, actually. To who? Toki. Oh, Toki, that's right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, cause, uh... Get this, ladies. Get this, everyone. We're gonna have more fun. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. I didn't even think this is the right way I'm going. You are going the right way, correct. Oh, am I? Daddy. Yeah, you're going the right way. Okay, I can't remember. There should be a... There should be, like, a ladder at some point. Yeah, there right it here. is. Fish! Oh, yep, there's Toki. It's weird. George Washington looking motherfucker. I am Toki. I research time. After many years of research, I'm one step away from perfecting a tune that lets one move forward in time, but it seems I've hit a roadblock. Echoes produce waves. What could it mean? Just play the harp. <laughs> and listen to what's probably my favorite song of this entire game. That's the tune of Echoes! That's the tone my research lacked! It has answered my remaining questions. Now I can finish my tune. Listen to this shit. It can't do I'll hear it later, but I'm being quiet for them. Ye of many tunes, I grant you a new tune. Time flows on when you play the tune of currents. When you play this tune, you'll immediately drift back to your own time. If you are in a place from which you cannot reach your own time, you'll return to the past. You learn the current tune. Play it to move to the past to the present. Here's it when you play the harp. Yep. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, this song is going to be beautiful. No, it's. A... Although, here's a fun fact. Huh? We can use this right away to do something. Yeah. I can. 
Um, you basically just need to make yourself back where you- yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little piece. Um, you're gonna go down and left, and you're gonna go to the bottom leftmost corner of that screen and play down. that song. That's bottom leftmost? Oh, we're still right down here? Oh, yeah, bottom leftmost corner. It's a very beautiful tune, I'll, I'll admit it. It is. Ah. Now all you do is just cross ah! the bridge. Heart piece number... 10? Canonically, this is the fifth one. Is it? Wait, fifth? Yeah, this is... Yes, I think we got an extra one from Mabel, I think, like, early. I don't fully really remember. We'll yeah, have to look I know back into that. This is the fifth one that... Yeah, I'll, we, we'll have to. I think this is... I think the reason we have six is we got one of the harder to find ones early. That might be it. That is like the... yeah. Uh, from here you can go, you basically just go right, walk down the steps, and right down. It's... Down the steps, and you said right down? Yes. Wait a minute. Uh, we think she might be off there a little bit, good job. Left, uh, left one and then stand at the bottom left corner and play the tune. So you mean right over here? Yep. Let's hope this works. <laughs> Hello. Uh, okay. Welcome to the present. Alright, you're gonna go down the stairs, you're gonna go right, down, left, down. So many different directions. Alright, once you clear the path, you're gonna go down two, and then go right, one. He said right, two, down, one, or what, what was that? No, right one, walk up those stairs, have one screen, you're gonna lift the boulder to uncover a patch which you're going to play the tune of Echoes at that point. Because time portals be damned. Oh, yes. Uh, do we need to move the vine? No! Actually, we're gonna keep that there because I know something. Uh, no, you're go to the game. Yeah, I think you and I are on the same page here. Then you got the side, then you got the other side. I think I need to go out the other side. So I think I need to push that, don't I? Uh. Yes, you do. Yeah, just shove that thing in the water will suddenly shift over to this side. But there's a reason behind this. Matter it is. Um, you're gonna go to the- you're gonna exit the cave now from the staircase and you're just going to use the tune of currents to go into the present. Time traveling be damned! Uh... Get used to telling me- get used to me telling him which song <laughs> to use to go X blank into time. Not climb the vines because there's what we get another impressive upgrade. So before anything, uh, equip your bombs. Take one of your bombs. Throw it in the water. Didn't work. Did you drop a golden bomb I mean, it's or a land. silver bomb? <laughs> Tell them a regular one. You are an honest person. I'll increase the number of bombs you can carry to reward you. <laughs> now we can hold thirty. Impressive. And you filled your bombs up as well. Oh yes. Let me guess. Go back into the past, move the thing. I believe. Actually, um, yes. 
and I guess I can tell what tell them what happens if you choose either the, either one of the other bombs. You if you choose a golden bomb, the golden bomb, you yes, you basically he drops like four bombs on you and you drop to like one heart. If you choose the silver bomb, he decides to steal all of your bombs. If you tell him a regular one, hey, guess what? You're an honest person. Your ashes got well, saved. They already, I mean, they already saw the honest part. So I'm uh, running. Did you, yeah, I moved I was gonna say, have you have you sw swapped the vine? It, I swapped it. Don't worry. Okay, good. One chair. Yeah, I already swapped it. Do I need to keep the water there? Oh, yeah, probably. Okay. Up, left, defeat our voting enemies along your way. You're gonna walk down the stairs one screen and then play the tune of Echoes to activate a time portal here and travel into the past. Into the past. <laughs> time travel. I'm just gonna. That's the only time I'm ever probably going to use it because sometimes these tunes just get on my nerve. <laughs> oh, they'll, 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 they'll get there eventually. Shut up. We're not at that part yet. Oh, I know, but. Hey, look, I'm, just, Ferry. <laughs> I'm giving them something to like hold on, giving them giving them something to wait for. Don't rile them up. Oh, they'll they'll, they'll get riled up for sure, especially those who know what I'm referring to. Uh, hey, look, does this area look familiar, guys? Mm -hmm. Actually, equip your sh shield. For I have reasoning behind this. So now mm -hmm. you want to to start your ascent up the wall. And watch out for boulders. Lesson of the day, watch for falling rocks. <laughs> because boulders will fall. Ow. When you're done, and you've made it to the top, go in here to meet good old Patch. But first, uh, go ahead and break his intricate pottery just for a couple hearts if you need it. I mean, you might as well show how rude a person you are. <gasps> Oh my god, I remembered exactly what goes on! Mm -hmm. I just remembered how dumb this is. Yes, this is dumb as shit. I love it. He'll go down the stairs, and here's how he's gonna fix the tuning nut. How it works is he's going to put it on that pedestal, that green tile behind him, and there's this minecart that's gonna go around the entire room. The thing I have to do is... I'm gonna explain the rules myself. I have to knock all four of these in there, and I have to prevent the cart from hitting the tuning nut. Ah, shit, too late. See, if the car hits it, I mess up. Yeah, he, he basically blames you for the ceremony failing and not the fact that their minecart is built on such a faulty way. Yeah, if you actually look at that backwards, it says, Be fixed, all fixed. Oh, I, okay, I know there's a way you can do to, like, make this go a bit easier. Oh, do tell. You need a rock's feather to go near one of the hole holes, and when they all kind of clump up, j like, jump over them at the last second and just knock them all in there. I just need to prevent them from doing that. Brah, get in there. Like so. That's a lot easier. Ha, <laughs> my serious ceremony has succeeded. This trap, or er, ceremony. Now we have the perfected tuna. We're actually going to be coming back to him much later. Oh yes. For what reason? Cool. I'm not going to tell you. Because I'm not much of an ass. Honestly, if I remember correctly. It's not this pleasant thing in the bed. Uh, wait, what now? I'm saying if I remember correctly, it's not the most pleasant thing. Yeah. So literally, yeah, we went to like this giant ass circle. Yeah. So now the tuning nut is back and restoration has been restored to the volcano. Now, Joris is the world. Now, if you guys can remember, uh, Symmetry City in the present was destroyed as shit, right? It looks bad, as bad or worse as the past. Right. Let's head to the present. Look at this shit. What the fuck did we miss? Congratulations, you've created a time paradox. Yep, we have officially fucked up time. Yep, it all goes downhill from here. 
We are responsible for the world's end. <laughs> yep. We're we fucked up somewhere, but hey, why is this door in a volcano? Why is there a door in a volcano? Let me tell you why. And more importantly, why is the Say volcano made of water four. now? Yeah. Say hello to level four, Skull Dungeon. The fourth dungeon of this game. I mean, they probably know, they probably know this is the fourth that they've been paying attention. Oh, let's hope. So, our next essence is in here, but we're gonna do that in the next episode, so I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. Oracle of Ages. See you guys in the next one. This is Eric signing off. See you guys later. Take care, everyone.